when you add more leverage the more you cut the actually margin needed and that will what will only expose your account to the value of the points whenever you're trading the asset okay many brokers they work in different ways some they offer credit some they offer bonuses some they many brokers they offer different uh, things right however you must be very careful and understand how your broker operates so that you can be able to trade well now some brokers they have what they have a 50 percent uh, margin level which is will trigger a stop out level so uh, basically whenever you're trading with the leverage you either choose to expose your account to the points value or you choose to expose your, your account to the margin level so that it can uh, the account can trigger a margin level to close your trade automatically should you go to what should you go to a loss and some brokers or some traders which are actually trading the news uh, they are exposed to which is the news we're talking about the fundamentals they are exposed to having a negative account when they're trading meaning that if right now you lost your trades are closed automatically you'll be left with a uh, negative so some brokers they offer what you call a negative protection balance so meaning that if you go to a negative they will reset the balance to zero zero okay all right i believe we understand that one is quite simple now when we're looking in terms of the margin which is the actual money that uh, you're supposed to pay but for you to actually open 0 0.01 but because you have a leverage then you actually pay less so here is how it goes now when you have the 2.25 all right when you have the 2.25 and you only need 0 0.11 then you're left with about 2.11 uh, dollars which is the money that you need to you that you can actually uh, keep adding more trades however if you keep adding more trades you remember you have what we call the margin level here and the margin level is actually what at 2k here as you can see it's 2k reason being we have what we have more leverage Le leverage here it's one is two one thousand so uh, we have more leverage and then we actually have we need less money but we cannot deposit this amount of money and trade with it because that will what will affect the 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 points meaning that if should it move a certain point uh, your trade will be closed automatically this margin level here will quickly uh, move down okay i believe it makes sense to you now let's make an example with another uh, another chart so that you can actually see uh, in a better way all right now let's look at uh, what's happening over here as we can see we have what we have a margin of what's one is to 91 remember when you have less leverage which is we're talking about leverage such as one is to 500 such as one is to 400 uh, you actually what you will need more money you will need more money you will need more capital because you can see here i had two i needed 1.91 so if i reach 50 percent of equity in a loss then a trade will be closed and i'll be left with whatever balance that is left uh when you minus this amount of money which is 1.992 uh, uh, sorry 1.82 uh divided by which is 50 percent which is you will see here on margin and then that will what automatically trigger a stop out level and then my account will be left with one point something dollars or zero point something dollars which is this one is a pound it will be left with zero point something pound are we together do we understand are we confused do you have any questions leave them in the comment section below now before actually we uh, start it with them uh, trading i recommend that you actually learn and understand the risk because this is the risk exposure that you're actually setting yourself into so now you must be very careful with what uh, the numbers some brokers they have what we call a credit you'll see a credit here that credit it's a balance that they are adding to you and then it's it, it's in relationship with the leverage it's in relationship with the leverage because you are not allowed to lose the credit just that now i don't have them maybe i can just show you a little bit of what is actually i'm talking about because some of you do not understand until you see what i'm talking about you can see here i have balance i have credit i have equity i have free margin i have margin level i have margin that one i believe is actually uh getting uh making you to understand now the margin the credit also the margin will what will actually be here 
it's just right now okay but anyway um i believe you understand what actually i am talking about here if you do not understand please leave a comment section below so that you understand the risk exposure and before you start uh, setting a stop loss or anything like that you need to understand that when you're trading you're trading with the margin which is the money that is needed and some brokers they offer what the free margin not to move which is such as brokers that derive and if you see someone trading and you are actually impressed, you know, because most of the time you'll see a marketing, uh, you'll be exposed to uh, people marketing on the on, on the social medias, so that you can actually what, you can actually uh, be influenced and actually uh, whatever that decision that you make, it will be actually in their favor. All right. Now we're not here to judge, we're not here to look at the other things, but we are here to understand what actually is happening when you increase more margin uh, when you increase more leverage so more leverage is not dangerous except that you need to understand the points the number of points the points of value if right now you're trading as you can see here uh it's three at uh, 3.81 i did not have 3.81 to trade you can see that i needed a margin of what a margin of um of 3.20 here you can see you can see here so I did not need this amount of money here, which is three. I had what I had 25 so that I can be able to risk uh, these trades, right? Given that I, I understand the points value and where I'm going to set my stop loss, right? And this stop loss will be based on what? Based on the balance that I am actually risking the certain points based on what? The balance. The balance here will be converted to points if you're actually trying to set a stop loss and stop loss uh, this is another lesson for you to learn but for now for you not to be confused for you not to be scared don't don't be scared of leverage leverage is there to actually add you with what with the simplicity to add uh, to trade with um, this amount of money not really uh, this amount of money however the, the margin level will be actually what higher except that you need to be careful with the points how many points are you going to be risking per trade? Whatever asset that you'll be trading. How many points are you going to be risking? So if you actually someone who actually don't understand about, don't understand about points, this is what I'm talking about here. You can see that we have an SL of 4.20, which is a US tech, which is NASDAQ that we're trading, and a TP, which is 5.66 US dollars, which is 566 points. So if you can take a look here, you can see that we have these numbers that we actually set our take profit which is the price stop loss and setting this it's quite simple for those who don't understand it and when we count the number of actual points it's quite simple we just have to take the lot size and then you can see that we have two numbers after the after after the comma here and then this one will be what will be comma and then you can say one you can see that we have one here one times 5.66 However, this is not the correct way to actually uh, when you have to count for some other asset, right? Well, such as uh, we're talking about gold, if you want to trace, uh, uh, count some other, other assets such as gold, this is not the correct way because you'll actually what you'll not find the same uh, value. I know some of you are actually using much are using the the MetaTrader for so it's a bit of a, 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 a difficulties when you have to trade uh, doing like that. So let's just check with the with the gold here for an example with the points of gold here you can see the points of gold here 61 point is equivalent to 0 0.61 because if you take 0 0.01 in times with 61 and now we're no longer using what the two digits code here are the two um, numbers uh, digits after the comma you can see how it's actually changing so please be careful of that you can see that 277 points is equivalent to 2.7027 usd this is a sell limit for those who don't understand about selling orders i'll make a lesson for you to actually learn and understand for now stay blessed i love you all stay tuned